Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Music in Movement. Uh, my name is Adam. We're at the Longview Public Library, and uh, we've got an extra special episode for you guys today in preparation for Thanksgiving, because next week, when it actually is Thanksgiving, we won't have any programming. So um, make sure that you uh, watch for us to come back on November 30th but uh, we're not going to have any programming on uh, the week of Thanksgiving, which is next week. Okay, so that out of the way, we're going to start with our opening song, Can You Sing High? I'll put the words up on the screen, and you guys sing the part that is highlighted in yellow after I sing the part that's underlined in black as a call and response, and I'll play both parts on the piano. Okay, ready? Can you sing high? Set. Let's go. All righty. Thanks for helping me out with that song. Okay. So today's instrument, super fun. It is this. This is called a harmonica, and it's kind of hard to see um, because it's black. But on this side, this is the side you play into, and there's a bunch of little holes. And this one has ten holes, so that makes it a ten-hole harmonica. Interesting, right? Um, and this is fun because there's so many different ways to play it. It sounds like this. And it makes different sounds depending on where I blow. And whether I'm blowing air through it or I'm sucking air back into it. Neat, right? And then there are other harmonicas that you can do all sorts of crazy stuff on, but we're just going to use this one today. And um, I'll admit, I'm not super good at the harmonica. I have to play kind of slow. And so for our first song, we're going to do one that starts really slow that hopefully you guys know pretty well. And it's head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay? So the first verse, whenever we go slow, instead of singing along with you, I'm going to play it on the harmonica and I'll use one hand to hold it, and I'll use the other hand to point to the body parts uh, that we're singing about. I should look really silly while I'm doing this. It's gonna be lots of fun, okay? So, let's see if you can see everything. I think you can see my head, and my shoulders, my knee, and my toe, uh, and you can see my eyes, and my ears, and my mouth, and my nose. So let's try it. Ready? Ready? All right, sorry, that was a little disjointed. Let's try it on the piano. I think that'll be a little easier. Okay, are you guys ready to do it really super fast? Are you ready? Let's try it. 
Oh man, I had to change the key of the song uh, to match the harmonica, and so it was a little weird to play on the piano, but no excuses. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to move on to Old MacDonald Had a Farm. So for this one, I'll start on the piano, and then we'll do one verse on the harmonica, and then we make them back to the piano, okay? So our first one, we'll do Old MacDonald Had a Farm, and on that farm he had a goat. We haven't done a goat in a while. So let's do uh, Old MacDonald. Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a goat, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba. Let's try, on that farm he had a pig. Ready? How'd that work? Did it sound like Old MacDonald? Let's try it on the piano again. And this time we'll do, on that farm he had a chicken. Ready? And on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O, with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Ooh, let's try it on the harmonica again. Let's do, on that farm, he had a cow. He had a cow. Ready? One, two, three. How'd you do? Okay, let's do one more just to end uh, singing together. On that farm he had a dog. How about a dog? Ready? And on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, so our last song is the ABCs, and this one is a little bit easier to play. So I'm going to try to play this one entirely on the harmonica. So let's see how well you know your ABCs. You can sing along with uh, your older people, your your parents and the, the grown-ups, or your big brother and sister at home. Um, and let's see if you guys can can sing along without my help. Okay, ready? How'd it go? That was a little easier, right? It's easier on this too. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our movement activity. We're gonna uh, put our harmonica away and sing a song that is one of my favorites. It's called Little Rooster. We've done it a few times in music and movement. Uh, but in case you haven't done it before or you've forgotten, we will sing through it right now. Okay. I love my little rooster and my rooster. 
rooster loves me. I feed my little rooster underneath the shade tree. And my rooster goes, cock a doodle doo. So that's how that song goes. But I think we could be a little more festive with it. We can lean into our Thanksgiving theme, and instead of Little Rooster, we'll do Little Turkey. And instead of singing cock a doodle do, we'll just do our silliest cool, cool. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Ready? I love my little turkey, and my turkey loves me. I feed my All right, so let's try that. Um, but you know, on Thanksgiving, as much as I love turkey, I like some other stuff. Namely, I like vegetables. Oh my gosh, I love mashed potatoes and corn on the cob and purple whole peas. Oh man, and apple pie for dessert. We have got to get our hands on some of these vegetables. So we're going to do a movement activity that will show us um, through some motions about how to get these vegetables from the earth, how to harvest them. Okay, so we're going to move over to where we have a little bit more space, and then I'll see you back here in a little while. Okay, well here we are, and we're going to, I want you to use your imagination, and we're going to imagine a garden here. And we have lots of vegetables that we're going to pick for our Thanksgiving feast. All right, so first, uh, we have our turkey, and then now we're going to dig some potatoes, okay? So potatoes are in the ground. They're a root vegetable, so you got to dig and then pull them out, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Ready? How I love my potatoes, and potatoes love me. I dig my potatoes underneath the shade tree, and potatoes go dig, pull, and my turkey goes go! Gobble, 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 gobble. All right, and that's what we'll do for the turkey. Okay, so after the potatoes, I think we should get some snap peas. And they can be purple whole peas, they can be green peas, they can be uh, black eyed peas, but the ones that I get all the time are purple whole peas, and people call them snap peas. And that's because whenever you get them, you just snap them off the, the plant, and then you have to split the pod open and slide the beans out. That's how I do it. Okay, so let's try that snap peas. Ready? How I love my little snap peas and my snap peas love me. I pick my little snap peas underneath the shade tree and my snap peas go split, slide, and potatoes go dig, pull, and my turkey goes Gobble, 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 gobble. All right, so now we gotta reach up high this time and we're gonna get ready for dessert. We're gonna pick some apples for an apple pie, okay? So when we do this, we're gonna carry a basket with us. We're gonna reach up real high and pick and plop. We're gonna pick, plop, ready? How I love my little apples and my apples love me. I pick my little apples underneath the shade tree and my apples go pick, plop and my snap peas go split, slide and potatoes go dig, pull and my turkey goes gobble, 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 gobble. All right. Moving on, <clears throat> we're gonna come back down a little lower, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're gonna get corn on the cob. I love corn on the cob. And uh, corn grows on a big stalk, right? And then we pull it off, and then at the bottom, it's got kind of a stem where it was attached to the stalk. We wanna snap that and then shuck 
the green stuff off the corn. Because whenever you eat corn, is it green or yellow? It's yellow. That's what's on the inside of the greens. So we gotta pull all that off. And you can cook it before and then pull it off, but we're gonna pull it off here. Okay, so snap and shuck. Ready? How I love my little corn cobs and my corn cobs love me. I pick my little corn cobs underneath the shade tree. And my corn cobs go snap, shuck, and my apples go pick, plop, and my snap peas go split, slide, and potatoes go dig, pull, and my turkey goes gobble, 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 gobble. Okay. So, last one, I'm gonna reach low again, and we're gonna get another dessert. We're gonna get pumpkin. So we can make pumpkin pie and candy yams, or well, I guess that would be yams, but we can, you can do the same thing with pumpkin and add marshmallows and all that fun stuff. So, we're gonna do that. And pumpkins are big and heavy, and so we're gonna go heave ho for the pumpkins. Okay, ready? How I love my little pumpkins and my pumpkins love me. I pick my little pumpkins underneath the shade tree. And my pumpkins go heave ho. Oh. And I forgot what's next. And my corn cob goes snap, shuck. And my apples go pick, plop. And my snap peas go split, slide. And potatoes go dig, pull. And my turkey goes gobble, 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 gobble. gobble. All right, good job guys. We got ourselves a feast and now we're gonna head back over to the piano. Oh man, good job guys. Now we've got all we need for a great Thanksgiving feast and we can wrap up our music and movement time. So we're gonna move on. Um, before we do that, I wanna show you guys some books. Um, if you want to learn more about gardening, we have some. We have a garden section. I pulled this one out of there. It's called Green Green. It's about a community garden, uh, which is super cool. I used to work in a community garden. And I learned a lot about plants there. So if you guys wanna read a book about that, check out our garden section. And then if you love Thanksgiving as much as I do, then we have just a section for you. It is Thanksgiving and it's all about uh, Thanksgiving books. We also have them up around our apartment um, on some other shelves like for display and you can definitely check those out. So if you see a Thanksgiving book you like, go for it. This one is by Dave Pilkey, the author of the Captain Underpants and Dogman books, and it's called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. Super fun. And um, so that and others are available. And then if you want to learn more about the harmonica in our uh, nonfiction, that 780s section, 782 has some books on blues instruments, and harmonica is a good uh staple blues instrument so if you find a book about the blues you're probably going to find something about the harmonica okay so now we're going to move on with our closing songs we're going to start with the more you read together so put your hands together and here we go so smart for being here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for uh, listening to our songs and our stories and all of our programs. And we'll miss you next week, but we'll see you the next one on uh, November 30th. Okay, let's get ready for our See You Later Alligator song. Sing about the animals or er, move your body like the animals are singing about. And we'll wrap it up. Okay. See you later, alligator, bye-bye, butterfly. Give a hug, ladybug, be sweet parakeet. Blow a kiss, goldfish, see you.
Thanks again for joining me today, guys, and we'll see you alligators later.